Hello everyone and welcome back to Asian Agash or welcome back to Galvin Strength and in this series where this is going to be part one and episode one we're going to be going to the gym and we're going to try and help you guys to get healthier, get stronger and get fitter. As I recently did a poll on my channel, a lot of you guys were in favour, so I explained to you that the gym is my greatest passion. I thought, how can I try and help out our community where it's not always known for being the healthiest, as an example. And um, in this video, we're going to be starting with our chest, our shoulders and triceps. So it's not just as you can gather me who's going to be doing it in this video, we have actually got a good friend of mine called Ben and Ben is actually a qualified PT. So where you've got me, where all, all the passion and enthusiasm and everything else into the gym and quite a few years of experience, we actually have someone who's qualified. So Ben, we're going to be training shoulders, um, chest and triceps today. Yes. So yeah, so what's the What's the good sort of reason for training those three muscles on one go? So, uh, most of the time people do like a combination of like push-pull legs, yep. and that's what we're gonna do. So obviously for a push, uh, you've got your motions like uh, shoulders, so you're pushing motion upwards. Yep. Same with your chest, you're pushing again, and then your triceps, you're pushing down, yep. compared to a, like a pull movement for your back and biceps where you're pulling the weight towards you, rather than going away. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, and yeah, so then, that's what we get on to. Yeah, and then the next ones we've got planned, guys. Again, these, so when we go into the workout today, um, for the sake of me and Ben's like ego, I will say this, that we usually do um, more exercises and we might do a heavier weight, but for what we want to do for you guys, we want to kind of make it um, not simplistic, but just quite straightforward and easy for you guys to follow. So we'll cut down the amount of exercises we do, just so hopefully we can explain it well to you guys. As at my gym, we do have sort of like a bit of a, a time zone of how long we're allowed to be there, unfortunately. But um, we should get a lot of stuff done. So what we'll be doing in this video, it's gonna be um, incline bench press. We're also gonna do vertical bench press. We're gonna do standard shoulder press, and we're going to do um, barbell front raises. And then going on to the triceps, we will do um, straight bar pull downs, and then we're also going to do rope pull downs as well. So just to quickly explain to you as well, just to make things simple. So the chest, obviously, you know, I'm sure you can explain it better. So you've got what your pectoral muscles. So you've got your pectorals. So with the incline, it's more going to work the top of your pectoral muscles. Also the incline as well. It's going to work your triceps, which is down here. You've got three heads in your triceps, which I'll explain later or another time. Um, and then obviously you know work for the flat bench as well which we're going to do which is the vertical mm -hmm. bench um, it's also going to do like your flat so the front of your chest um, it's also going to do the side of your chest and that's also going to get your front delts in which is here as well so there's loads of different movements same with the shoulders as well we're going to go on to that so we're going to be doing your shoulders your traps you know uh, your triceps will be engaged your front delts it's going to be engaged for quite a lot of these exercises, which is really good. Um, and then we're going to move on to like triceps, like I was saying. You've got triceps, mm -hmm. which is here. You've got your free head. So the rope's going to use all three of them, which is fantastic, which is uh, one of the reasons why I like doing it. Um, also, it is a lot harder as well. So you'll probably find if you're going to do it compared to the straight bar, you probably won't go as heavy because you're going to use the triceps, which goes down here and then here, and then here, which you've got three heads for, compared to the straight bar, where you're just gonna use the long head. Um, and that's, yeah. that's pretty much it, and you can, you can clearly see that he knows his stuff, rather than go, right, okay, triceps, the back of your arm, your pecs here, and your shoulders, you don't know where they are, yeah. you're kind of screwed already, and should be yeah. watching this video, but, um, uh, but yeah, so just the last thing I wanna say is that Ben has, as you will see at the start of this video, and we'll talk about it at the end as well, um, myself and Ben have got Instagram sort of like, fit, I say fitness accounts, and also sort of like strength building accounts, mm. um, but you can go check mine out as well, it'll be in the link in the description of this video, there'll be a link there, but also Ben, because the other thing as well is if you wanna push yourself that step further, um, like I said, Ben is a qualified uh, professional PT, so if you do want to um, ask him for help and all that sort of thing, you know, on a you know, professional level and everything else, um, you can go ahead and do that, obviously do diet plans. And yeah, of course, sorts, I mean, I could do uh, diet plans for people or programs, so for strength training or putting as much muscle mass as possible. Or if you want to go down the weight loss, I can help with that. Um, obviously, message me on Instagram, which will be uh, able to view from here. Or if you need to, you can also message Mikey and then he can let me know and then we can get in contact that way whatever's easier for you guys, but I'm more than happy to help. Yeah, exactly, and if you've got any questions, guys, don't forget to comment down below, and if you do enjoy this video, make sure to like it, as this is a very sort of, you know, um, experimental sort of series on the channel, so it's, I'd always say like the videos, if you generally enjoy this, it's 
it's really important that you like this one. Um, and then just the last thing I want to say, so we're actually recording this bit of the video, the start of it, uh, a couple of days uh, later, because basically the video you're going to go and watch now, we're going to be wearing different clothes, <laughs> all of that, just in case you wondered, in case you wondered why my arms are burnt today and they weren't burnt on Monday. That is the reason. Don't go canoeing when it's grey and cloudy in the UK because somehow the uh, the sun still burns you through the clouds, which is fun in very Pacific places. But anyway, guys, good cardio, though. Good, it is good cardio. I mean, to be fair, a lot of the stuff you're going to see us do today is going to be six to twelve reps, which is a standard good cardio for for us. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so we hope you enjoy the video and um, let us know in the comments. So to start, we're going to go on a Smith machine and we're going to do some incline bench press. So we've got Ben here. So Ben, tell us why. The incline bench press is actually quite a good exercise to do. So the incline bench press is a really good exercise for your uh, upper pectorals, so your upper chest. Also it's going to work for your front delts, which is here, and also your triceps, which is really good for your triceps for flat bench, decline and incline. You need good triceps. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by doing two warm-up sets. Uh, the reason why you do warm-up sets is to get the blood flowing, make sure you don't get any injuries. And also just to get your formula up with no weight on and then we're going to go into three working sets from six to twelve reps. The first thing you want to do before you do any exercise in the gym or at home is to do some stretching. So for this exercise, it's really important that you stretch your chest, your shoulders and your arms. Now, if you guys want me to do videos on stretching, I can do that. Now, talking about this exercise and the range of motion you want is you're bringing the bar from above you all the way down and it should be coming to the middle of your chest. And that's when you bring the bar and it touches your chest, it should be in the middle. So it's important to make sure that you have the bench lined up in position with the Smith machine in this case. The other great thing to say about this exercise when you're doing it on a smith machine especially when you're quite new is that the smith machine is a bit like a safety net as you can see how you wrap the bar back onto the smith machine means that if you need to bail out at any point if you've accidentally done that one extra too many reps you can do that on the way up rather than having to deal with this huge amount of weight that's going to pin you down Right, so now we're going to do a bit of vertical bench. So this is a bit different to the incline bench press. It's going to work some of the same muscles. But again, we're going to have Ben here to talk us through why we're going to do it. Hi guys, so like I was saying earlier on incline uh, bench press, this is still going to work your front delts, your triceps and your pectorals. The good thing about this, which is the reason why I like it, um, is because it's not in every gym. So some gyms will have it, some won't. But the good thing about this is it can go quite heavy. So compared to the incline bench press, if you put 100 kilos on, it's going to be quite hard, especially depending on where you are, beginners or not beginners, compared to this where you can go a little bit heavier and still get those extra reps in. Um, we've already done warm-up sets, so I'm going to go straight into it with three working sets, like I said, 6 to 12. So like we did the incline bench guys, something you're going to want to use, what you might not think about, is bringing your feet behind your knees. So this means that you can help use your legs to help support your chest, to help be able to push as much weight as possible. Now it's not cheating, if you've got your ass off the bench or something like that, or your back is really, really curved, you've gone too far, you can use your legs to help try and support your chest, which is something you might not think of straight away. And with this particular exercise as well, what you'll see is I'm doing a wide grip, because you can see there's two different ways you could grip that handle, right? So I'm doing the wide one and the reason for that is because I enjoy having a wide as fuck strong chest and by doing a wide grip it's going to help me maintain and to continue building the width of my chest. If you did the center grip it would help build up the center of your chest respectively. The only last thing I want to say about this is with this exercise you want to explode up and you want to come slowly down to put the muscle under tension. Right so now we've got the chest done we're going to move on to shoulders and so the first one we're going to do now is going to be a standing shoulder press. So Ben what is this going to work for us then? Okay, so standard barbell shoulder press. We're going to use a standard Olympic bar, which is roughly about 20 kilos. Um, so for this, it's going to work your uh, shoulders, your triceps are going to be engaged, your biceps, uh, especially your laterals down here, uh, and your front delts. It's going to work quite a lot, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is now it's a new exercise, we've got to do the warm up again. So we're going to do two warm up sets, nice and gentle, not a lot of weight, maybe just the bar get the blood flowing, mu muscles moving, and then we're gonna go into three working sets. Right, first things first with the stand and shoulder press. This is the first exercise we are doing that is not involving like a machine to help you out. And what I mean by that is this is an Olympic bar that you are holding by yourself. So the main thing you wanna make sure you're doing is an A to B movement. So when I'm moving it from about my chin height all the way up until my arms near the outer lock, that is what I call an A to B movement. So that bar is just going up and down. It's not going any more 
forward or any more back because then what you're going to do is an A to B to C movement and essentially what that means is you're just making yourself have more work to do you're putting certain parts of you under pressure that you shouldn't be more like joints and everything else you're just going to waste energy and potentially injure yourself and this is the same for a lot of compound exercises the other thing I want to mention is that my stance when I'm doing this I have got one foot in front of the other yes you can have your feet both shoulder width apart but if you have a bit of a wider stance by having your strong foot forward it's just going to help support the rest of you and keep you stable whilst doing this exercise Back home to you. Right, so the next shoulder exercise we're going to do is barbell front raises. So you can see we've got the floor on the floor there, as you can see that. Now, Ben, why are we going to do this now? And why is this going to do that the uh, like shoulder press standing thing cover? Okay, so with uh, barbell front raises, it's going to actually ice, uh, isolate your front delts and just your shoulders. Um, so this is a really good exercise, like I said, just for isolating that shoulder. So when you're doing the movement, so you're going to bring it up like this, and then down, it's going to isolate that. It's going to really hurt, you're going to feel that burn, but that's what you want to feel, guys. Um, so we're going to do, we don't need to do warm-up sets because we've already done it for shoulder, uh, shoulder press. We're going to go straight into three working sets. Uh, 6 to 12. There are three main things I want to say about this exercise whilst you're doing it to make sure you've got the correct form and that is when you raise the bar up unlike a common mistake you're not raising it up to shoulder height or even eye height it has to be head height. Now as you can see while I'm doing this exercise and as Ben is doing it this is not the same as the shoulder press where you're pushing it directly above your head obviously it is going to be more forward. The other thing I want to say is remember guys like quite a lot of these exercises you can have that bit of a kink in your elbow so your arms aren't completely straight like we've already mentioned that's not cheating that's just looking after your joints and then the third thing I want to say is if you find when you're doing this exercise you're really rocking your back or shoulders forward and backwards that's simply because the weight is too heavy so you have to forget about your ego guys you have to cut the weight down then when you have experienced the correct form doing this exercise then you can up the weight of the bar right so now moving on to triceps so what we're going to do now is going to do some straight bar pull downs uh, tricep extensions so Ben, do you want to explain what is going to yeah. help with the triceps? So what we're going to do now is we're going to do triceps. Um, so as you can see, we've got a straight bar. Um, so this is going to work the head there. You've got three muscles in your triceps, tri for three. This is going to work the long head, okay? And also it's going to work your lats. So we're going to do two warm-up sets, like always. And then we're going to go straight into three working sets at six to 12, um, depending on the weight. Might go a bit more reps on this one. So now we're working on the triceps, which is one of my favorite muscle groups to work on. The two most important things while you're doing this, guys, is making sure the form with your back is correct. So you want to have a straight back. It can be leaning a little bit forward. As long as it's straight, you don't want to be pulling down this weight with the force of your shoulders and the force of your body weight. It's all in the tricep action. So what that means is you want to be pulling it down straight with your arms, as you can see I'm doing, and so is Ben. And you want to make sure that your elbows are locked in to the side of you as soon as your elbows start flaring out or you're using your shoulders to push the weight down you have completed your set now if you got a reasonable amount of reps like we mentioned that's great but if you didn't you need to lower the weight again guys then the last thing i want to say is make sure you've got a bit of a bent in your knees so a bit of a kink there it's just to help stop putting so much pressure in your knees just again looking after those joints Right now that we've done the straight bar pull downs, we're going to do the rope pull downs as well. So, Ben, do you want to explain to us what this exercise is going to do and yeah. why we're going to do it and why it makes sense to do the straight bar pull downs and then the rope after? Yeah, of course. Well, like I was saying earlier, with the straight bar pull downs, it's just going to do your long head uh, and your lats. But the good thing about the rope, this one here, which is really good, it works all three of your heads. So, it's a really good exercise uh, to finish off the triceps because it works all three at once, which is really good. Us. Heads yeah, so on your triceps you have your long head and then you've got a short head here and then you've got your other, you've got long, you've got your short and then you've got your medium basically tricep there. Um, it'll work all three with this rope which is really good and also it works your rear delts so you're getting quite a lot in. 
again what I've just said about the straight bar pull downs in terms of your form, how you want to be positioned, your back, etc. That is going to stay the same. The main thing here, and you can see when I'm showing it with Ben and you can see it myself, is that when you pull this rope down, you want to make sure that you pull it out to the side. That's really going to engage your triceps. If you simply just grab hold of this rope and pull it down, you're not going to be doing the exercise properly and you're not nearly going to benefit from the hard work you're meant to be putting in because when you go down it's going to be so much harder when you pull the rope to the side as you can see in this video that's going to help you build that muscle you want to build and that is what decisively makes the rope pull down much different to the straight bar pull down it's not the same thing and it's actually harder right guys so that is the end of video one so obviously this is the first time i did it so in the next videos we're going to do in this series the quality will improve everything like that especially with things like sound and stuff we're just going to get established sort of how loud the gym is and how easy you guys can hear from us so if you've got any feedback at all let us know in the comments as well if you've got any questions for us and stuff about what we covered today because we did chest shoulders and triceps usually we do squeeze more exercises into our workouts because this was the first video like i say we wanted to sort of have it quite um simplistic for you guys so we're not sort of like overloading the information and because we're on a bit of a timer here at this gym um we can squeeze everything in essentially and we thought we we're putting the exercises that would be a good a good start really for those uh, three muscle groups so what would you agree with that then yeah definitely no i definitely agree with that i think what we do as well if you guys want to know what our full workout would be uh, we're quite happy uh, to put that in the uh, comments as well. If you guys want to know what we're just happy with what we've done, then uh, obviously we'll keep it at that, but we're more than happy to put in what we uh, do. If you've got unlimited time in the gym, as I say, long leave, we're in here for about two and a half, three hours. Um, just try and make it short and sweet for you guys. Uh, but cheers, thank you. Exactly, what I will say guys is that we have both put Instagram as well. I haven't really brought us up too much on the channel before, but like a one quick hour strength there, you'll see a link up now or it'll be in the description of this video. And that also, like I mentioned, that Ben is actually a personal trainer, he's a professional, so it's not just me of all my enthusiasm and my sort of like massive passion behind the gym. We have actually got a qualified expert here doing this with us. So I do appreciate that. And there will actually be a link to Ben's uh, Instagram down below and there'll be maybe a thing will pop up at the top as well. So what that means is that you can go check it out because he is a PT. If you do want to put that much more investment in, you can actually ask him for things like online um, like plans and courses and diet plans. Obviously, you can explain that more. Yeah, definitely. Like guys, you know, if you want to attend in, uh, just give me a message on Instagram or contact Mikey and Mikey can talk to me and I can create you plans. Um, I can also tell you what kind of foods to eat for bulking, uh, mainly that's why I go in for bulking uh, and a lot, uh, as much muscle mass as possible but I can do for shredder or weight loss I'll give you advice and uh, do uh, plans as well for the gym uh, or if you just need some help or you're not sure what uh, your form's looking like you can just message me like or message myself we can help you out with that as well if you need to Fantastic, mate. Well, thank you very much for joining. Cheers, mate. Thank Cheers. you very much. It's been Cheers. great. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you've got any more questions, like I say, put in the comments down below. Check us out on Instagram if you'd like to. If you didn't like the video, please absolutely smash the like button as that massively helps. And because this is brand new to the channel, it's completely different to my usual stuff. If you are watching this and you're more of a fan of the stuff, don't worry. That, that stuff will stay the same and I am looking at maybe transferring this onto a separate channel. But if you, uh, if you did enjoy the video, it's really important you smash that like button as that's kind of like a make or break to see if I continue this and this is something so different to my norm. Like I said, smash the subscribe button as you'll make sure that you won't miss any future of this sort of content out and obviously of course my usual content. And smash the bell notification because it'll mean that you'll make sure that every time a video like this goes up or any of my other videos, you'll be let known, especially when I do like live videos and stuff, you want to join the chat when it's live. So with that aside guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Remember until next time to stay safe, everything like that. Keep training strong and if you've got any questions or any queries or anything you're not too sure about, if you are brand new to the gym, like I say, put in the comments down below because I don't want you guys to hurt yourself or anything watching these videos. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching and uh, have a good rest of your day. Cheers guys.